Welcome viewers to Bodrum, Turkey. I did not expect to see this here. You could even see I was shocked to see it here. Couple of things on this one we're going to explore. Um, I've come in the shade, it is so hot here, it's unbelievable. But can't complain. Let's go, let's see what we can find. Okay, so my first time down this wee street, I've just seen they're doing the ferry tickets here to cause, they're doing around the harbour as well. Um, so lovely wee side streets and shopping uh, centres in here. We'll do a wee video in one of the grand bazaars at one point. We've got the taxi rank round here. I'm assuming the bus bit is round here as well, probably. I've not even been up these streets yet, so there's quite a lot to explore in Bodrum here. I'll be heading down that way later on. But let's head down this way, viewers. So I'll be just having a wee wander around these streets, see what I can find. And there's a couple of surprising finds. Surprising finds. This is not really a big place for English and Irish bars to be honest with you, they're more traditional um, but you will occasionally find something that surprises you so I think we're going to go down this way I don't remember what way I'm going down here I think I'm going down to the left a lot of these places doing the fresh orange juice I think we'll be getting one at one point, definitely right, let's take a wee wander down here it's a bit of a maze, you can easily get lost now if you need a handbag, trainers caps, t-shirts, fleeces, football tops, you will love Bodrum because they have got absolutely everything here, everything here. Look at this wee cool shop as well. It's pretty busy, it's only about midday. There's still quite a lot of people kicking about. Shops I think will do quite well here because the temperature's so hot outside, it's shaded in here, you'd be tempted just to come in here to get a wee break from the temperature. If you see the wee haircut, I've got you covered there as well, okay. So there's one of the Bodrum Grand Bazaars. We'll probably go in and check it out in a wee minute. Obviously, you'll need to negotiate prices when you go in there. Um, I've just bought a cap. Got another video talking about that as well. Lots of jewellery shops and uh, clock shops and watches and stuff like that here as well. We wait till you see this yours. You will not believe this. Although I might put it in the thumbnail, so you might believe it. I'll show you something else in a wee minute. Now, when I went to Marmaris, you've probably seen quite a few of these shops. That, uh, cheekily um, name them after famous stores did you expect to see Primark here? <laughs> there you go Primark in Bodrum in Turkey so lots of stuff um, for sale in there a lot of football tops stretches all the way back got a Turkish uh, restaurant next to it as well we're going to take a wee left round here, there's another place that might interest you that I was surprised to see as well, did not expect this. We'll do a separate video talking about prices. Um, I always base the price on large beers, right? That, that's just my default pricing mode. This is one of the more expensive ones here. Um, Carlsberg, that's roughly 170 Turkish Lira, it's roughly um, it's about 41 per pound, so that's just over four, four pounds, maybe about four pound 20, 30. Tuburg for some reason is is a wee bit cheaper than Carlsberg. That's two of the worst beers I think you can get, Carlsberg and Tuburg. Guinness is really expensive here. Um, Guinness, that's obviously going to be about, what's that? That's seven pounds for Guinness. So, but don't worry, there's loads of bars down there. I was in a bar last night, got a really nice beer. It was, it was literally two pound 50 for a nice Effie's uh, beer. So prices will vary depending on where you're going. Um, that one's a bit more expensive, but maybe it's busier at night and stuff like that and different things on, who knows. Let's take a wee wander down here anyway, see what else we can find. Now, I did say I was shocked, I did not expect to find this here, doesn't... It looks a bit out of place here. I don't know how genuine it is, I've never been in it. But, uh, it's Anthony's English pub. There you go. And they do an English breakfast, so we're covering all the bases. They do a Turkish breakfast as well, it's the same price. So the guys have a wee look at the menu, I'll tell you how much the price is. It's roughly about just under five pounds for an English breakfast. They also show the football, as you can see as well. Like all the football tops up there as well. I can see a Man U top. Probably they've got Liverpool tops in there as well, I'd imagine. Let's so take a wee wander around here. Actually, I need to get suntan lotion somewhere. Oh, okay, here we've got some prices here. There's the breakfast here. It's going to be just under £5. Omelets are pretty cheap here, as you can see, that's pretty cheap as well. Um, beers, 
with my glasses on actually. So a large beer here is 120, that's literally three pounds for a large beer, 50 CL. It's not bad, is it? Um, cocktails, not sure. Wine is about 240. So again, perfectly reasonable. Not too bad, is it? Um, now, Anthony is a clever man because he's not only got Anthony's English bar, he's also got Anthony's donut and kebab round the corner here, Anthony's restaurant and cafe. So he's covering all the angles, we're getting the locals in and we're also getting the Brits in um, who maybe like to go to an English pub. So there we go, Anthony's Donner Kebab there as well. And they do different kind of stuff, soup of the day, that's about £3, so really good. English breakfast, a bit more um, in there as well, not much, 20 30 pence more. So interesting, there we go. Grand Bazaar will probably do another wee video maybe going in there, I don't know how big it is, we'll wait and see how big it is. Some of the Grand Bazaars are marmorous or massive. Um, interesting to see much of football tops out here, I don't think I'm going to buy a football top, I don't really wear football tops that much. So, I don't think I'll get one on this trip. You never know, i will not really out of yours. Now, you get some good bargains on trainers here, I can't buy any of these trainers because I need specific trainers for my plantar fasciitis. Thanks to everybody who's asked about that. It's actually got a lot better in the last kind of six months. Um, I've got these trainers here, look. I've had these 10 months on trainers, right? They're really expensive, but they've really helped me. And I bought another pair from the same brand last week. Um, but they, they're not as good. I should have just bought the same pair. So I maybe, go, I maybe go back and buy the same pair again, but they've made such a difference. I've been able to walk about. Um, I don't know whether naturally it's just kind of eased off. I don't want to speak too soon, it's up here. I think this is where we have a wee market later on at night, up here. Yeah, they're just setting up some stalls and stuff here, so the wee market up here is quite nice. More caps there, I just bought the cap here, with another video talking about that as well, but um, yeah, they've got some very, 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 very nice wee shops here. Five euros for sunglasses. Literally, you could fill your suitcase with stuff here. You could come here with nothing and just fill your suitcase, couldn't you? So, a couple of surprising finds on this one. Did you know, we'd, is it Primark or Primark? People always, always debate that, don't they? It's controversial. Um, and we've got Anthony's English pub, which kind of looks a bit out of place here. As I said, I've not been in it yet, so I don't know how genuine it is. Um, let me know if any of you've been in it. If you've met Anthony, let me know. Um, there's an Irish bar round, round uh, near the beach called Molly Malone's, but I don't think it's generally an Irish bar. I was only in it last night and asked them, do you have live music on? They said they'd be starting next week. It seemed a bit unusual because we're in high season here and they didn't have anything on. But it was a nice bar, to be fair, Molly Malone's. Not even been all the way down here yet. How nice is it here? So, viewers. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit the wee subscribe button, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost a penny. Check out all the other videos on the channel, uh, we've got lots coming from Bodrum and Goombe. And uh, check out all my previous ones, Amarminus and Ishmalar, if you're a Turkey fan, I think I'm going to get a fresh orange juice here. Okay viewers, thanks for watching to the end, I really, really appreciate it. I've not got a hotel book for tonight, I've just noticed this one here. Could be a noisy location, we'll see. Alright, thanks for watching viewers, don't forget to hit the wee subscribe button.